Okay, so we have our IK and FK functionality set up. We're constrained to our um, skin joints. We need to create the switch. So we're going to create another control. And we'll just do another circle control. And this one we'll do... We'll go to the history. We're going to make this linear again and maybe give it 16 points. Let me go F8. And I'm going to come in and select just every other one. Like that. And then I'm just going to scale that out to make a little star. This is going to be our switch control. All right. So we have our switch control. Now the switch control, all it's going to house is our IKFK switch functionality. And that's its main point. So our translate, rotate, they're not going to matter so much. So what we want to do is we're going to name this our IK underscore FK underscore switch underscore control. And we need to add another attribute to this. So we're going to go up to edit, add attribute. That will pull up this window. All right. And we want a Boolean, right? We want on or off. Um, some people do a float, and they like to do a float of like 0 to 10. It's just a preference thing. Um, the 0 to 10 would allow you to kind of blend between. But generally, I just like on and off. So we're going to call this IK underscore FK. And we're going to add it just as a Boolean right there. We will close that. And now with that, we need to bring this control up to our wrist. So what I'm going to do is I want it actually constrained to my wrist joint. So I am going to select the wrist joint and control select the IKFK switch. And then I'm going to go up and select the parent constraint. So again, my maintain offset is off. So constrain parent, it's off. And that is fine. And I'm going to click apply. Close that. Okay, so it snaps it up there, and I'm actually going to leave this constraint on because I want it to follow that joint, and that joint is going to be controlled by either the IK or the FK control. Um, but when I have my IK on, I want my FK controls off. And when my IK is off, my FK controls will be on. So they're going to be turning on and off. But the switch, I always need present and available. So with my switch selected, I'm going to hit F8. And I'm going to rotate it this way, 90 degrees. And then I'm going to move the whole thing up. Well, let's make it a little smaller. Yeah, maybe like that. We're going to move that up just like this, and hit F8. So that is now um, going to follow wherever that wrist joint goes. It will just be attached right to it. So now I need to turn, I need to add some functionality. So we want to open up our node editor at this point. So we're going to go Windows, Node Editor, and here it is. We're going to clean it off so we only have this. And what we're going to do is we need to add in our control. So we're just going to add that. We don't need the shape. So we're going to move that off here to the side. We're going to have this control. And then we're just going to go down. And we want the constraint of each of these joints on our skin joint. So 
I'll turn off my K zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my skin joints in my outliner here, and we'll start with our left shoulder joint parent constraint. So we're going to we have to select the constraint node itself and add it here. And then if we double click on this little icon, it's going to show us everything that we have. And we just need to get to um, zoom out, make that a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, we need to get to our constraint um, targets. This, these right here, left shoulder FK and the left shoulder IK. So in this case, we're going to say, since IK is the first one and FK is the second one, we're going to say when IK, the IK FK attribute is set to one, then our, um, then our IK is going to be on and our FK is going to be off. So we can open this up and we're going to take our IK FK and we're going to plug it straight into the IK. It's a direct connection and that's just on the shoulder. Now we need it to do the opposite of that for the left shoulder FK. So if we hit tab, we can start typing reverse and there's our reverse node. We click on that. It's going to create it. And we're just going to have the IK FK go into the input X. And then we're going to take the output X, which is going to reverse it to the FK joint, just like that. All right. So we have that set up. I'm going to move that down. That's our shoulder. Now we need to do it to our elbow. So here's our elbow constraint, and we're going to add this to our graph, and we'll open it up like that. We'll leave that shoulder there. And we're going to do the same thing. We can use the same reverse node because it's the same attribute controlling all three of these joints and their parent constraints. So we're going to take our IK FK output and it's going to directly connect to our IK constraint weight. And then we're going to take the output of a reverse node and plug that into the left elbow FK joint, just like that. Okay. And you can see right here, it's got this connection. It's already set to zero and one so that the FK control is on and the IK control is off. Now, we are going to take we've got to do the same thing with our wrist. So here's our wrist parent constraint. We'll close this up and move this down. And we're going to add in oh, that's our elbow. Now yep. we'll select our left wrist joint parent constraint. And we're just going to add that to our node editor and open this up. We're going to do the same thing. IK go straight to the IK right there. And the output X goes straight to the FK. All right. And we have that. Um, now, the other thing that we want to do is we want to have the same control turn on and off the visibility of the control. So only one is on when it's actually active. So we're going to move this down. We've got our joints working. Now we just need the visibility. We're going to use the same uh, switch control and the reverse node to affect those. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll select our IK control and we're going to add that and it's going to give us that shape node. We don't care about that. And we just want to open this up to get to our visibility right here. And we know it's a direct connection. So we're going to take our IK FK, tag that right to our visibility and look, it's turned it off automatically. Hooray. All right. Now, 
We need to do the same thing. We're going to do it to our shoulder control. And the shoulder control, whatever's turned off, everything down the line will turn off as well. So we'll select the shoulder control. Let me actually move this down. Select our shoulder control and add it. We'll move the shape. We don't need it. We just got to get to that visibility. Now it's the opposite. So we need a reverse output X coming into the visibility. And that should set it all up. So now you can see, even though I don't have, let me turn on my skin joints. All right. We're going to have this. It is rotating down. See our nice switch is going back and forth. And we can pose that how we like. And we can go to our IKFK switch and we can just type one to turn it on. And now it'll snap it over to the IK joints. And now we can move and pose this however we like. Okay, we've got some wonkiness with our elbow, but that is just the issues with our with pull vectors, and we know how to fix that, right? We need a pull vector. Um, yeah, we need a pull vector um, constraint. So we have this set up. We're we're gonna get that set up. And then we're going to get our twist in. And our twist, when we twist this, it needs to twist that a certain amount. Okay. And we have to do that very carefully because we want basically the wrist twist to control its parent. And we can't do that because it creates a cycle, right? The parent is or the child's controlling the parent, the parent's controlling the child, child's controlling the parent, and it creates this cycle error that will go crazy and your rig will go crazy and it will break and will not be good. So we don't want to do that. So let's first set up our pull vector uh, control. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a control right here. And let's... Go to the history on that. We'll make it linear again. And maybe we'll just do six, make it like a hexagon. Okay. We're going to call this our left underscore arm underscore PV for pull vector underscore C for control. And Maybe we'll go F8, make that a little bigger, all right? And then we're going to group it, Control G, and we're going to call this our left arm PV control group, just like that. And now this one doesn't matter so much. We don't need to do any special snapping. Um, like we did before, but it does need to be on the same plane as these joints, which is why we created our joint from the top view for our arm. And we were very careful. We made sure that the whole chain was on the same plane, right on that. And then we just pulled it up. So we know that this, when we snap it to the elbow and we keep it on the world orient, it's going to stay exactly how where we need it to on that same plane so we won't get any wonkiness so we're going to take the group hit w and we're going to snap it up to our elbow joint and then we're just going to move this straight back Again, we're just moving the group. Maybe we'll make it a nice even negative 20. Is that far enough? Sure. Maybe we'll go negative 25. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful. 
Okay, we have that, and that is great. And what we're going to do is, or let's rotate this. So we'll hit F8, grab our control points, rotate that 90 degrees, right there, F8. Okay, so we know that our pull vectors live underneath our arm control, or right here. So we're going to select our control and shift select the left IK arm, or control click it in the channel box. And we're going to go to constrain and pull vector. There we go. So now this control is going to control the twist of our arm. Excellent. That is 100% what we want to see. All right. Now, with that all set up, we're going to take this control, and we have a couple choices. We can have it be a child of our clavicle. We can have it a child of our upper back. We can have it a child of the root. We could have it a child of the world by having it just on our control right there, on our global control. Um, typically, I kind of like it to fall around um, with the character, so... You know, let's go ahead and parent it to our clavicle control. So I'll grab our group, shift select our clavicle control, and we'll hit P to parent it. Okay. Now this is part of the IK control setup. So we want to turn the visibility of this off um, with this control. We've already got it set up here. So what we're going to do is we'll select that control our arm control and we'll shift select our pull vector control and we're just going to go into windows and general editors and we want our connection editor right here with those things selected it's going to automatically um, put them in the columns according to how we selected so we're going left arm control to left arm uh, pull vector control and we just want to connect the visibility, right? Because this is already connected. So we do that. So now when we turn off that, everything will get turned off. So we'll hit zero. Oh, and we've got these still rotated. So we'll unrotate those. But it worked exactly how we wanted it to, which is most excellent. Um, so yeah, we have got this all pretty well set up and looking pretty awesome um, and functioning exactly how we want it to function. Um, so in the next video, we will go over the twist and setting up the twist to perform how we want it to perform. And then we've just got to do it all on the right side, right? But we're mostly there. So good job, great connectivity and everything. Oh, there's one more thing. We have our left arm control here. Let's turn off the visibility of those uh, IK handles. We don't want to accidentally select them. And let's take our arm control group and we'll just parent it to uh, just the root okay so we're going to take the group shift select our root control and hit p to parent it so now that will follow along with that um, and then what we can do is we can actually take that and we can do just like we did with our head where we can make a constraint with our global control, that orient group control, and we can have it be world oriented or follow the um, the root of the character. So, or we could change it to where it follows like the clavicle, you know, and that just depends on where we have that control parented to um, in the first place. But for now, we will keep that and 
we are good to go.